Hey guys, welcome here from Flexi, and now we are going to install app directly from PC. I'm going to connect it through USB. First of all, you need to check you have enabled ADB options in new settings. You have to go in direct developer option and then you have to select Android debugging or it might be with different names and different fonts but it is debugging. So you have to set it, set it on and then connect your device to PC. After that in PC you will see Now you have to do is install ADB driver on your PC. I'm going to install it. So I have it somewhere in my softwares. The link for that is below in description. You can download it from there and install it. Next, I'm going to do it on my desktop and name the folder AD. B. Okay, you can name it anything. So you can see the ADB folder on desktop and now open ADB. So when we get our default Android, we have we don't have any file browser on it. And thus we want to install file browser at first. So I'm going to install file browser on my device with ADB interface. So I'm going to copy ESFile Explorer on the ADB folder. I'm going to copy it because I don't want to mess with my backup. Okay, rename. And I'm going to rename it a little bit small because it will be easy to write on command prompt. Okay, so first of all, you have to check your device is connected. So I'm going to write ADB devices. Successful. Yes, your device is connected. You might see a prompt on your device, but my device is already configured for it to be used, so I'm not getting any prompt and I'm not showing that to you. So keep have a look at your device while you are using it. Okay, now we are going to install it. So adb install es.apk. Okay, now let's start to installing us file explorer you can't see anything with your device while the installation progress is running because it is installing under adb commands i am installing it in on moto e and moto e is a Loading device, so it's taking much time, but you can see their success. That's it. Now I'm taking you to my phone. Now let me verify that the app installed from ADB really gets installed in my device. So let me check if ES File Explorer exists as an installed app in my device. You can see here ES File Explorer, and I can use it. That proves that. ADB process is secure and good to use and install apps if you don't have a backup on your P on your device. I hope it helped. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. It's Akshay Misra from